The Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Frame. Turn your memorabilia into a work of art. This is The Sports Source, presented by Bill Hotz and Associates and by Renewal by Anderson, with your host, John Pennington. There you go, folks. 20 years ago, 20 years ago, the 1998 National Championship Volunteers a magical night in the desert in Arizona out there. Fearless Price celebrating right there. Got a picture of Fearless Price right here on the desk, as a matter of fact, to go along with a whole, as the Sports Illustrated, Fearless. That picture's gonna go along with a whole lot of VFLs we're gonna have on today's show. We're gonna talk about that 98 season. It's 20th anniversary show right here is what we're gonna do. I think it'll be fun for you. We're gonna have some video and some memories from these guys. Let's dive right in. First segment of our program brought to you by the folks at Bill Hotz and Associates. There are thousands of car accidents in East Tennessee every year. If you ever find yourself injured in an accident and it's the fault of a careless driver, turn to Bill Hotz and Associates, the car wreck attorneys for 30 plus years. All right, let's, let's get through the introductions quickly right here. I've got four former Vols that were members of the 98 National Championship squad right beside me. Spencer Riley, who was offensive guard on that team, who was also a team captain during his career, and that can be said for all these guys. I was looking that up last night, didn't realize at one time or another you were all team captains at Tennessee, pretty exclusive group. So Spencer Riley right here, former Vol place kicker. Jeff Hall right there, you've been with us before. Jeff, always good to have you here. Thank you, John. Right there, all the way from Chattanooga. Appreciate you coming in for this. Billy Ratliff, <laughs> legendary name. I'm guessing at some point during today's show we'll be talking about the Arkansas game. Former defensive lineman on the 98 team. And down there, one of our regulars every fall here on the Sports Source, Will Overstreet, another defensive lineman, a freshman on that team in 1998. Gentlemen, as you guys came in and kind of reminisced and caught up, I'm sure you guys don't get together often. Time, you know, moves things apart and I, we all go in our different ways. But listening to you, one thing that kind of popped in my mind was, can you believe it's been 20 years? That seemed to be part of the discussion. So I ask you, how hard is it to believe that it's been 20 years since that night in Tempe, Arizona? Well, man, it's been really, it's been really difficult. You know, you think about 20 years ago, you're like, so many things have changed. All of us have kids now, you know, <laughs> and that, that's the crazy part. Some of us have kids in college, and that, that's what's crazy and how much Knoxville's changed over the last 20 years. Thoughts oh, on, on just the 20 year thing? Just for me, it was when a couple of days ago I talked about, you know, different games. I think it was Jimmy Himes, and he started mentioning, well, you remember the UAB game? And I was like, we didn't play UAB. Turned out we did play UAB, so there you go. I mean, so, so many things have changed, and there, there are bits and pieces you remember of that season, but then there are whole swaths of it that maybe fans remember or somebody else remembers that you're kind of like, I don't remember a bit, a part of that. And so it's kind of really unusual. As I said, 10 years from now, better record this tape so we can watch it, because maybe we'll forget <laughs> some of that. On the 30th anniversary, that. it might be tough right. So we can remember right. what we said. Well, you said when you came in, you yeah. went through some tape last night just to reacquaint yourself. I, I did. I had to go back through and watch some stuff and find it. And I was pulling it out of the boxes and stuff. And my daughter going, what are you doing? And I said, I have to go. I'm going to do a TV show in the morning about our 20th anniversary. And I had to catch back up on some right. things that happened. I'm like, well, so I didn't remember playing UAB. I was like, until last <laughs> night. I'm like, but then I did, and then there's this, I remember the little, no, they had this nose guard, and he ran at the snap of the ball every time he would turn and run sideways at the snap of the ball. And Coach Foreman was so mad about that. So, you ever going to block him today? I said, look, Coach, I'm, try, I'm chasing him. <laughs> so. Well, the, the funny thing is, Will mentions the fans, and it's such a different perspective. You guys are on the arena floor there. You're in it. Fans, you're watching on television, so everybody remember they have a shared experience, mm -hmm. and the memories they share with each other are all about the same angle of the same highlight in the same game, right. which you guys don't have. You have different memories. When I bring up the '98 team, Jeff and Billy, what memories do you? What what comes up? Is it the camaraderie? Is it the? Is there a moment? Is there a play? A game? What pops into your guys' head when it, when I bring up the '98 team? I think there are a lot of special moments and memories that season, but I think for me, I remember the 97 team and how good that team was and all the first round, second round draft picks that uh, came off that team and then everybody not really giving us a chance, thinking at best we were six, seven, maybe an eight win season if we got lucky. And, you know, it was different when, when Peyton and Leonard were our captains. It's almost like Peyton and Leonard were those guys that you looked at to really take the burden on their shoulders to go get the yeah. job done. 
But then the 98 team was much different. It almost felt like everybody put their own burden on their own shoulders to go out and do their own job and not worry about someone else, another superstar trying to make a big play to pull us out of a pull out a win. What you just said shows what a good job Philip Fulmer did of convincing you that you needed a chip on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You guys were actually a top 10 team going into that season, but no one expected a national championship because the big story as you mentioned was, okay, if you couldn't win a championship with Peyton Manning, Mm -hmm. You're not going to win it with his first time well, quarterback. And, so and I'm sure it was built in your guys like they don't think we can do anything. And we only and got you, that top 10 uh, ranking because we had just won the SEC championship. Yeah. I think had we went, finished second or third in the league, we probably wouldn't have got that top Even 10. Mm -hmm. Billy, what do you think of when you think about you? Well, I mean, I have so many memories of that time. Uh, you know, you know, most of the time it's more of my teammates that I think about, you know, the guys that we played against. And, you know, being me, I was injured a lot. And it was a special year for me just because, you know, I had guys around me that kept me together. And it was more of the family part of it, you know. That's, that's, that's what made me believe that we had an opportunity. You know, when you had guys like, you know, Peyton Manning leave, you know, another good family guy, Leonard Little leave, and, you know, you played behind Leonard and you know how good he was and you got to feel those shoes. It was a tough thing to think about. And then also you have people doubting us at the same time. Yeah. And, of course, you know, my attitude is, I'm a win-win, I don't know how to lose. And these guys are leaving, there's no chance that we're gonna lose this year. And we just, you know, once the coaches realized what we really had, and I think they used a little reverse psychology to make us feel like we wasn't ready, but we were ready. And we came out and fought that whole year. So it was, it was a special year for me. Well, for the fans, I mean, that's one, you know, I'm about five to 10 years, depending on who was a freshman, I'm about five years <laughs> older than you, but well, about 10 years older than you, about five years older than some of you other guys. Um, <laughs> I grew up uh, in Tennessee and that 1985 team, even you know, when I was a boy, those guys were legends to me. Even as an adult, when I had them as adults on this show, uh -huh. still special to have those guys here. You guys are those guys. Mm -hmm. That's gotta be a heck of a thing to know that folks out there watching and folks in East Tennessee, when they think of that 98 season, they think of you and all the joy you brought them. That's a heck of a thing, and we're going to get into that, and we're going to talk about the entire season. We're going to have some videos, some highlights. We're going to look at some of the big games throughout the season. You're going to get more and more with these guys and their takes on moments and games throughout that season and throughout this show. Uh, we will be back on the other side as we start uh, talking about the start of that season. Syracuse, Jeff Hall might remember that one, and the Florida game that everybody remembers. Come on back on the Sports Force.